All right, YouTube, we're back with another, um, another Grixis Shadow stream. Can you explain this blatant hate speech? Guys, everybody, I am guilty of blatant hate speech it's right here. Just lock me up and throw away the key. Lock me up and throw away the key. Archmage, I understand if you no longer want to be a mod in this channel. I get it. And I respect your decision. And I wish you well in your next channel. I really do. <sighs> Should I say Celestial Colonnade is a good card? But the decks around it is not. Is that, is that what I should? Is that what I should say? I am like, I lose to blue, white, red, all the time. That is like that is like my calling card to blue to blue, white. Like they should be like they shouldn't even call me like the death shadow guy. They should call me the loses to blue, white guy. This hand is on the lower end, but I'm gonna keep it. I could see if somebody told me they wanted to mulligan this. I understand them doing that. Case of Colios. Okay. All right, my hand just got better. So it's going to get us a Blood Crypt. And now we're going to get working to getting nasty going here. So I need to keep this land. need to keep Angler. Probably ditch the second looting. We already have a removal spell, so I might as well ditch this Lightning Bolt. Or I could ditch my Snapcaster because I'm going to uh, probably ditch the Snapcaster. I'm going to delve my graveyard here in a second. So then I might not want to. I might want to keep this looting and then ditch Bolt and Snapcaster Mage. Yeah, that sounds like the plan. Now it's a Case of Coleos. We're going to just do this in the next turn here. Now we need one more card in order to be able to play play nasty next turn. Or looting into a black source. Alright, that's gonna put a damper on our game plan. One, two, three, four, fives. Oh, actually we can do it. Alright. I miscounted. So let's get the big man in play. And then we'll figure out how to deal with this. Um, this Thalia later. Hopefully we draw a land so I can just dismember it and like fetch shock myself, play Death Shadow. That would be the dream. The absolute nut. It's going to be a Thought Knots here. It's like an Eldrazi in Texas deck. Yeah, it's going to be a Thought Knots here coming into town. It's a pretty big game. We still have the biggest creature in play. So, that is nice. But this uh, thought not here. This big game. It's gonna like slow us down quite a bit. So let's start off by looting. We don't need this angler, and I don't think we need this thought scour. One, two. Five, so I can play a one one. I think we're gonna get in here with this shadow. Or with this with uh with nasty. If my opponent wants to take a two for one, I would take it. And then next turn, or after second main phase, I'm gonna fetch a watery grave. Cycle. 
Nope, not going to cast that before I cycle. Cycle this, and then play Shadow. Then I have an interesting decision next turn of what I want to do with my Lightning Bolt. Okay, so they're going to get my Bolt, which is going to make this game a little difficult. We're going to be able to put some pressure on them. Get in there. Okay, so that's probably going to take care of my red source. Nice. The weird thing about this is we can't like block anything if my opponent ships with both because um, the Thalia has first strike. Like we like most of the time, if Thought Not Seer and Thalia were going to attack together, it would be a free roll to just block the Thalia. But because the Thalia is first strike, the Death Shadow is in check. But now we have two five fives, which is pretty nice. They should ghost quarter my red source, I think. Yeah, good play. Good play by the opponent. All right, that's a pretty good draw. So my opponent can only go land Reality Smasher. If they play a Reality Smasher, then I'm dead if my opponent doesn't block. I guess I should check out their top card here. Concealed Courtyard. So if they had a Reality Smasher, they would have played it there, I think. Though it does give me a free block on Thought Knots here. I think I'm going to ship with both and just put, like, max pressure on my opponent. And if they don't block, then all three of my creatures are lethal next turn. And I'm dead. But they would have to have untapped land Reality Smasher in hand. Or have, like, a Path to Exile. Which seems not super likely. I should have used my blue land to do that. This is just a little sequencing issue for me. So uh, we get rid of Gurmag Angler. Um, I guess we will leave leave Thought Scour and. Thought Scour and Mishra's Bobble in there. My opponent just said "whew," so I don't know what that means. Pat the Exile, they got me. Flicker Whist, they got me too. Okay. This is eight on the dot. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. <clears throat> Fatal Push would have been nice. Nice draw there. We were close. Not quite close enough, though. So I like Liliana's and K Commands. Lava Mancers. And EEs. I probably don't like... I don't really like Gurmag Angler. Because they're going to bring in... like They're going to be really deep in Rest in Peace. So I'm going to look to cut a couple of those. Cut some stubs. And then cuts. I could just axe like like these five cards here. What does this look like? I could bring in some braids and pyromancers as well. We're certainly moving up the curve a little bit. Yeah, I like this. They have quite a bit of twos in their deck. They have quite a lot of threes. Um, they have like Displacer, Flicker Wisp, uh, whatever the, the dumb card is, the Mirror and Crusader. So I think we want this. And we're going to give run these here. 
You like a braid and pyromancer. Pyromancer does seem okay, but like I'm worried that pyromancer isn't gonna play well in combat, and I don't exactly know what to cut. Like I could cut my Gurmag anglers. You know, like like I could buy that. All right, we're gonna keep this hand. This hand's pretty good. As long as we hit with like a turn one thought seize, we get to get under a. I might look to do that on the draw, bring in some pyromancers because I can't like get aggressive on the play and get this Gurmag angler in quickly. So like I could buy that. I would agree TBR is bad against an active vial, yes. And if I cut my anglers, I'll probably look to cut um cut some number of them. But I think that like against this deck especially, they don't have a ton of removal. Yeah, they don't have like a ton of interaction though, right? Like and if they're and if the opponent is uh respecting the battle rage, then that's okay as well, right? Okay. That street weight's a good hit off of this. We hit a looting, which is something I love to do. Oh, that's that's like so anti-synergistic. Um I'm gonna cycle. Let's go get we don't really want other lands. Let's go get a blood crypt. We do have enough. It looks like we have enough fuel here. Okay, well now we're just gonna play Shadow and Angler. This is kind of like in a really ideal start for the home team. And they might, for all we know, they might cut their um they might cut their whatever they are. God, I can't even speak tonight. They might cut um those cards like after sideboard, they might cut vials. Excuse me. All right, we do get this. You got another one. Probably want to get another swamp. Oh, that's a good one. Man, we are drawn very well tonight so far. So maybe we get a steam vents. I just want the second red so red source and another blue source. I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play Lava Mancer and Last Hope. The Last Hope fuels the Lava Mancer, which is kind of great. Just take this up. We have quite the battlefield presence going on here. Another path. Okay. All right, Lava Man, you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to bring it home. So I'm actually gonna ditch this Snapcaster Mage and this Mishra's Bobble, because the Colagon's command can rebuy it. And we're gonna be tapping out, so I'm actually gonna swing with the, the Lava Man. So the Thalia doesn't matter, the Flick Horse doesn't matter. It's either the Displacer or the Thought Knots here. And I think I'm going to take the Thought Knots here. I can deal with the Displacer with um, Lava Man plus K Command. So I guess none of their cards really matter, which is kind of sweet. If they don't do anything here, I'm just going to make them discard, bring back my Snapcaster Mage. I think you can sideboard many different ways in this matchup. And now that we see how many how heavy they are, they might have fatal push. Now I can see like playing more pyromancers, maybe. But I definitely am much more into cutting Gurmag Anglers on the draw when I can disrupt rest in peace slightly less. I'm into that. I'm into it. Okay, so they did hit for Ghost Quarter. So here comes we own an Arbiter, which is okay. So they're probably going to hit my second red source, which is kind of annoying. It, again, it does not really matter because, um, like, both, like, it's going to be strip mine no matter what because we already have both of our basics. So I think we want to return our Snapcaster Mage. Like, shock this, return Snap. 
I don't think we want to make them discard because the Liliana checks all of this. And then we can, worst comes to worst, I can just hit this. So return target creature. Yeah, we won't look. Yeah, that's difficult. So I can either flashback looting, ditching this bobble, and then hopefully something else. I can also ditch the Snapcaster and then rebuy it. But this Liliana going up is probably what's winning us this match. So what is the most annoying card they have? It's probably just this Displacer. So I could just Snap Thought Seize the Displacer, which is probably like a good thing to do. Let's see what they have in their graveyard. They're drawing a Tide Hollow's Color, which they can't cast. So I might as well just like, this kind of locks them out of the game, I guess. So let's just hit this Displacer. I guess I could hit the Flicker Whisk because it flies. And if they ever deal with this Lava Mancer, then that's harder to deal with. Like, the Displacer is not going to be a problem the longer the game goes. Yeah, I'm going to take this Flicker Wisp because I can't block it with my million zombies. And it enables, like, more tricks. They can bounce my – they can flick my Liliana. And now we just shoot, like we shoot this. That's a pretty good draw. And the bobble. Tick up. Yeah, we're just mowing them down. And when we ult this Liliana, it should be game over. Okay. We'll fetch a tap land. The red source. Probably just pick this off and then swing in. Just keep my opponent's board clear. I don't really see how I lose the game from this spot, but might as well play like there's a chance. I'm not even going to bolt them at the end of the turn. Bolt them next turn. I guess I bolt them at the end of this turn. They're just dead. Doesn't matter. I could bolt my opponent's face, but I can just get it back and then. Let's hit this. And we've got. Enough. There we go. Card bump in the night. What are you looking at bump in the night for? Okay, so I actually think I'm going to go with what you were talking about there and try to bring these in on the draw. Trim down on some Battle Rages. Maybe bring in another Braid. Just try not to get run over here on the draw. 
give this a whirl. This is going to kind of mess with their Thoughtseize plans a little bit. I have to be ready for Thalia, though. Up in the night. That's how we lose. <laughs> Big brain over there. Okay, so we have an answer to Thalia, my opponent Mulligans. We can looting into more lands. I'm going to put a card at the bottom. So let's get Blood Crypt. So which card's more annoying? It doesn't really matter. I'm just going to take this, uh, take this Camball. If I got the Shrine tapped here, probably. Oh, they, he, they hit a two drop. They'll be a Thalia. Oh my god. They even put a card on the bottom. <sighs> How you doing, Kevin? We're just like locked out now. The hard lot, the Thalia one lander. Just absolutely smoked. And they're going to land this displacer. We're going to die. It's going to be so bad. They have the path, too. They literally top deck the Thalia. They put the Thalia, they put the card on the bottom. <sighs> they literally scried that to the bottom. Them's the beats. And I could have played around the four outer. Like, I could have just looting up my turn. You know, if we want to get, like, super technical. Oh, that's frustrating. They did keep it in. Yeah. Oh, man, that is so bad. I had the looting, too, and everything. We would have missed, which is... So, what do we do? We drew Snapcaster, Thought Scour, Young Pyromancer, so... Yeah, I mean, we would have missed, so, like, such is life. Oh, what a kick in the nuts that is. What a huge nut shot. You gonna play some Traverse tonight, Kevin? I'm pretty I'm pretty excited of that. They've got the path in hand, right? Like I, I could play that one out, theoretically, but like it's it's not over over there. Cast of the Spawn of Satan, but like for content wise, it's over, right? Um, sounds all right. We'll give this a keep. We're on the draw. We have a cycle. <laughs> playing its infect. Oh, we're playing its elves. Okay. We are going. There's a land drop here. So I think we're just gonna dismember this. And really hope there's a land on top of my deck. We gotta slow them down a little bit. What is going on? There we go. They have an Elvish Visionary. So here comes a Visionary. Okay. I think I'm just gonna play it. Because, like, they're the black-green version, so they might just have to drop, like, whatever it is eventually. Um, the dumb lord that kills, that does deals damage. We're likely in trouble now. In quite a bit of trouble so far. Dwayne's Elite's a big game. It's just two bodies. Alright, so now we can play some magic. So let's... 
get their last couple cards here. Shaman of the Pack. Yep. Which is right there. Okay, so they just have Horizon Canopy, Horizon Canopy. So am I fetching an island? Probably. So I go to eight, block, take two, three, four. I can't I can't play. But if I don't get it cuts me off so much. There. Hey, thanks, Schultz Cube, for the bit. How are you doing tonight? I think I'm going to actually fetch a uh, another watery grave. Would you a third freaking angler? Put on the bottom. Put on the bottom. I could have gotten a steam vent, I guess, to make Battle Rage a live draw. That probably would have been better. Probably would have been a better thing to do. You're special in my book. I added some new extensions to my uh, Twitch chat here. To my, Let me see here. I wonder if you guys can see them. There should be a couple new things on my stream. There should be the follow the feature follow button overlay and there should be like a a Twitch Prime reminder. I don't know if you can see that or not. I don't know if that's real. Are you playing Traverse Shadow 2? I'm confused. I'm confused. You're talking circles around me. So I'm likely going to just cast this Inquisition no matter what, just to put cards in my graveyard. Oh, they drew a company. Nice. They drew a cord. So this is cord for the Azuri. Oh, I must have misheard. Oh, so they just did that to whack me. So block, block, we're dead. Yeah. We're dead. All right. We have quite a bit of cards to bring in here. This deck is like Affinity. It gets quite a bit of splash damage um, from quite a bit of splash damage from like my human sideboard. So we got these EEs. I really do not like Skirmag Angler. Um, I don't like Kolagon's Command. We can cut some Street Wraiths. Like trim a Street Wraith. Trim a Stub. Trim a Snap. I could even see cutting one more Angler. Because, like, Angler's probably not going to do a lot. Like... And it's only I'm only gonna need one Death Shadow to win this. Probably can just discard like these can go bad. I'm gonna discard a Thought Seed. No, I want to hit Company. These can go poorly quick, go bad quickly. I've been streaming a lot lately. I've had a lot of time. Which is good. Ever since I heard I was going to SCG Philly, I've been putting in the time. Probably going to shore up my Death Shadow list in the next, I don't know, something like the next, probably, I don't know, couple days, then play standard. Kind of give my uh, standard person an idea of what's going on, what we should be sideboarding. My teammate wants to play red black. It's got to be after Philadelphia, there, Rafi. Mm. 
I really had a mishmash of sideboarding here. It's kind of like a whole lot of I don't really know. How are you? How are you doing today, Rafi? No blood prayers. No tech rewards. All right. So this hand. This hand's sweet. We're not gonna see our visions on one. We're gonna. Pray my opponent runs out of one drop and then we double shadow him. Because we got two three threes there priced to move on turn two. Yeah. We figured it out. Oh, it's game two. Yeah. We lost game one. We got we got wrecked. Oh, we're, we got all the abrades that we need. Go like this. I'm likely going to Serum Visions on my second turn to potentially find more damage. Let's see. Yeah, so let's Serum Visions. These are all very good. Um, actually, probably don't even need the push. Put on the bottom, put on top. I'm going to crack my opponent for 10. We're going to take the Dwayne and Elite because it makes two blockers. No, no, no. Oh my gosh, I just clicked through. Nice. All right. Oh, that's just great. Just motored it. Missouri Renegade Leader. Okay. It's all right. We got we got that under control. Yeah, we're just gonna clear this out of the way. Not even give my opponent the opportunity to block with it. Like they're probably gonna chump away with this thing. So if I go to eight here. I talk to five, they hit me for two, then they play another elf. Yeah, there's just no need to shock myself. Because now they would have to be like, hit me for two, and then play five more elves. God, dismember adds just so much explosiveness. A guy it just turns the heat up so quickly. Horizon canopies. They're drawing the cards. So this is good for the home team. Okay. I could have t fetched an island because I would have done 12. But then my death shadows aren't lethal. So it doesn't matter. Um, on the draw, I kind of want to just have one more... Cheap way to interact. I just don't think Gurmag Angler is going to win us these games. Yeah. This is how we're going to do it. Oh, this hand's not bad, but we gotta be in a doll. They mulligan too, which is nice. Okay, this hand's pretty good. Oh, I've looked at that. Yeah, I think I would like to I'll put this on the bottom. I like all the cards in my hand. I think I'm gonna look to give that a try after Philadelphia. Like the one that Canister's been playing. Alright, that thing's dead. It's dead. I'm going to kill it with this fatal push because it could be a little more difficult to get revolt. In the later games, they put a card on top, which is worth knowing. The Elvish Visionary would be kind of annoying. All right, so 
Let's fetch a watery grave and take a look. See what my opponent's doing. And then we'll figure out what we want to do with this red mana here. So I think I just want to take this Azuri and then bolt this Llanowar Elf and then like dig for a threat next turn. We gotta bolt the land war elf because if they hit the land like they did, then they could company me. Okay. So let's start off by replacing ourselves. Okay, so we don't want this battle rage. And we probably can ditch this lightning bolt. I do need to play my land in order to make it so they can't company me, though. It's just something new that I'm working out here. There. Iron. Iron Soul. Iron Soul PT. Uh, I know people that are big fans of Pyro Matches in the sideboard. So I want to give that a try. So they're probably going to play. They should play their Shaman. Okay. We're not going to untap. We're not. I mean, we're not going to... Um, we're not going to crack our fetch land. So we got that. So let's look at our top card. We got Death Shadow on top. We want that. So now we have a way to win the game, which is basically all we were looking for. Okay, so I'm probably going to actually kill this next turn. Well, what can they actually do with this? Yeah, I, should, I have plenty of time to play this Death Shadow. I should just get rid of this. I feel like everything goes bad with that thing. Because they can, like, play it. So what can they do? They can play it. One, two, three. Play this thing. Drain me for two. Then this taps for two mana. So I can crack it, play a one drop. Then I have Death Shadow in play. And the Death Shadow is big. Actually, I actually think I'm going to play the Shadow. Yeah, I'm just going to play the Shadow. Because if they do this, it grows my Death Shadow. I'm not very mana efficient, which is kind of like a little bit of a bummer. Okay, so here comes a Heritage Druid. So here comes my opponent's hand, it looks like. So this grows, this makes this a 5-5. Five, five. We shoot this, and then we start attacking while having a body. Oh, nice. They're looking to just... I could have also flashed my snap in right there. But. Yeah, I'm just going to get in here and attack first. And then hopefully they don't draw like a company. Then we're just going to snap bolt this thing. We have red mana right there. Lightning bolt. Bolt this. I think it was actually correct for my opponent to not attack me. Because, like, you just get so... Like, you just chip shot a Death Shadow player. And, like, oh, here comes company. That's a good hit. So we could be in trouble here.
Something that's kind of annoying is that engineer explosive on this board probably is going to kill my death shadow if I need to pop it. A Coco was a good one. I mean, I, I couldn't do anything about it, but because I wanted, I had, I had to snap bolt that thing. I could have lootings, but they're thinking about it, which means they have some options. Jeez. Oh god, now this game's getting out of control. Right on time. So let's start with this. Okay. So that's a start. I probably dismember this and actually thought sees them. Deals six damage to me, puts me to three. I'm gonna go block, block, block. So let's think. Dismember this. Thought sees that. Because this does four. So if I have, I have to dismember this. That puts me at three. Block this, take two. And then attack over. I lose to like a cord. I lose to like, unless I don't attack. Then I don't lose to his lot. But I put my opponent kind of in the abyss here. They can regenerate all their elves if I attack. So I do have to get rid of this now. And then they're probably not even going to give me the opportunity to attack because they're going to just give their elves a regeneration shield. It's going to get tight. Yes, yeah, so they give this thing regeneration. That company was a good one. Yeah, always yield. Then we hit this. And now we just hit tight. Oh my god. Oh my gosh, that's so bad. Opponent. That's back to back good ones. Okay. Block, block, take three. Whoa. This is the same thing no matter what. I call that atom stacking. I'm going to tell him you said that. So I need to draw Battle Rage or a Removal Spell. Bobble's not it. They're drawing a land, so if we draw a removal spell, we're good. Come on, baby. That's a turn late. Yeah. Oh, that's tough. That is tough. So if we'd have hit that, if we that'd have been a serum visions, we'd have serum visions into it. We could have done it for zero, then block this and live another turn. Then we would have drawn last hope, which last hope probably puts us in a chance. But oh, what a beating! Those are two wicked tough games, tough matches. Tough ones. <laughs> I 
<laughs> God, Rafi, you're great. Rafi, you should at least... I see that Twitch Prime thing right there. You should at least subscribe to my channel for the, for the amount of harassment that you dish my way. I'm just saying. For how negative you are and that out of all of this... How mean, how much you bully me, you should at least give me $2.50 a month. That's all I'm saying. You're not subscribed to my channel, are you? You don't have a badge next to you. This is a dangerous hand, and I think I'm going to mulligan it because these basically are turned off. Seems pretty much pretty bad, but... Not bad against a combo deck. Oh, there you are. What a guy, Rafi. Hands not bad against Burn. Really good if we find a Death Shadow. There's like a Death Shadow right here. We're actually in pretty good shape. It's not a Death Shadow. Should have gone on this land, so I'm going to have the option to stub or dismember. Dude, Rafi, use your sweet emote. Now that you are a sub of the channel, Rafi. Use your sweet emote. Oh, God. I'm probably just going to end up fetching a land and dismembering one of these and just feeling really bad about myself. We definitely have some sadness on the stack here. So we're likely going to nine here because this is probably a lightning bolt. So it's got three cards. We're going to nine. There's a swift spear on the board. Things aren't going well. Really not going well. We are on the struggle bus for sure. Yep, you got it, dude. All right, I'm gonna go fetch the steam vents because, like, if I find Death Shadow, I need red mana as soon as possible. Am I out of time for this? God, man, we are just. We're doing it. Get that skull crack out of here. I'm gonna open up a treasure chest for Rafi after this after this match. After we get the old O3 drop on here. I bring shame to my family. Dude, get your lava spike out of here. Still crack me a four, basically dead to any spell next turn. Am dead to any spell next turn. Unless they have Searing Blaze. You know, Searing Blaze actually kills me, even if I have a Death Shadow in play. Nice. Let's give it a college try. I just didn't find a way to deal with this. I just didn't find anything. Which is tough. Sometimes that happens. Been a tough been a tough one so far tonight. So let's bring in, we want these abrades. We want this. All my stubborn denial. And we're gonna bring in a pyromancer. I don't like any of these. And that's how we're going to brush sideboard against Burton. Pretty clean in and out. Which is nice. I guess I can open up this, this 
treasure chest while Rafi, while my opponent waits the sideboard. This treasure chest is for you, Rafi. Look at all these, look at these sweet Jaces I have. All these Snapcaster mages I have. God, I have such a great Magic Online collection. Oh, 30 play points. And a countervailing wins. It's a good, good treasure chest, Rafi. All right, I mean, we have Death Shadow and Battle Rage, which are best two cards. So we don't need the second one. And we can probably play the Death Shadow on turn two and be able to defend it with Bolt from damage because it's Fetch Shock. Like this is Fetch Shock, Watery Grave, Dismember is 13, Bolt's 11, or Blood Crypt's 11, Bolt myself. We don't want to see a creature. Gas. And we're just going pedal to metal, I think. I don't think, like, nothing's going to stop us now. I could get. No, because I have to shock to get my Death Shadow into play next turn. Because then I'd have to bolt myself in order to have that not happen. Let's see what my opponent's got. They are drawing a Boros Charm. Powerful magic card. <clears throat> Alright, Inquisition's going to force some action next turn, which is good. My question is, if there's an idle line, what do I do? Ruh-roh. <clears throat> oh, man. So, if I go, if I take this Monastery Swift Spear and they go Spike Moro's Charm, or they go Spike Eidolon, I go to eight, then Battle Rage. I go to five. My death has an eight. Battle Rage makes it a ten. They're at sixteen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this Monastery Swift Spear because I don't want them to go like play Swift Spear, Spike, Bolt, kill me. So we're going to take the Swift Spear. Then we're going to crack in here for five. Hopefully my opponent goes like Lava Spike Eidolon, but they might not do that. That would be kind of playing into what I want. Looks like they're just going to play idle on. Okay. So I need one more way to deal damage to myself. In order to make this battle rage lethal. That is not it. So if I drew Lightning Bolt, then I'm dead if I don't go for it. If I Thought Seize myself, if I Thought Seize them, and they drew Lightning Bolt, or an Instant Speed spell, then I'm dead. So I can sit tight, and then if they cast anything, alternatively, I can put them to two and Idle Unlock them if I attack. And then if I idle unlock them, yeah, that's what I do. I attack, idle unlock them, and then maybe thought sees them after combat. If they do nothing, then we just lock them. 
because we go to six, they bolt us to three, we're still one attack out, then we can battle rage next turn and win. Yeah. So now we just lock them. Hopefully they don't have path to exile. And then we should kill them this turn. Yeah. Got him. That's how she goes sometimes. Then on the draw, we're just going to keep it the same. Not going to switch anything. Hopefully we get a decent hand. We can make it out here. So there's not a lot of damage associated with this hand, but it's slow. I think I'm going to mulligan. I don't have a discard spell. I have too much onboard interaction. Oh, this is even worse. All right, I'm going to keep it. Put that on the bottom. This is going to be a tough one to win. My anglers were just too slow on the draw of my first hand. My first hand's close. Like if somebody told me they wanted to keep the first one, I could buy that. Now we just have to find Death Shadow. Neither of these are Death Shadow. This game is likely going to be over quickly. Man, we got beat this league. Go ship some treasure chests and then jump in for one more before I go to bed. Yep. No, nothing's in there. Okay. Suspend Ripple. All right. Uh. Steam vents next turn. I'm just going to fetch a tap land if I get the chance to. But I'm likely pretty dead right now because, like, there's two of these. So this is already seven damage. Another spell is 12 damage. So I'm pretty likely to get turn three here. I led with the Bloodstained Mire just to give myself the option to uh, find another. Uh, to find another, um, whatever it is, to find threat next turn. And then, like, this stub's not likely to do anything, anyways. No way. That's wild. Alright, launch bad. Yep. Unless I draw Death Shadow. Which is likely over. If I draw Death Shadow, there's like a chance. Come on. All right, go to five. Yeah, jeez, that was rough. Yeah, beat up that first league.